Hey guys, today is about my wash day routine. It's a simple one, but it's effective. How do I wash my hair in a way that is gentle, yet gets the job done? As you can see the before, my hair is a little over halfway through its uh, retightening cycle, so I'm starting to get that halo of frizzies, and washing it does help it, surprisingly. You'll see that afterwards. Also, I'll show you the shampoo that I use, and how I clean my scalp, and how I clean the length of my locks, it's a pretty quick and efficient process, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so time to shampoo my hair. This is what I use, the Generic Value Products Tea Tree Oil Shampoo compared to Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Shampoo. Leaves hair soft and manageable, cleanses hair and scalp of impurities, and you can get this at Sally's. I don't know if anyone else sells it, maybe Amazon, but I know you can find it at Scallops Good Supply Store. And a little goes a long way. I think this is one of the sole products I've used. I may have strayed away once or twice when I was out of something, but this is my go-to. It gets my locks clean and it keeps them soft. Now let's get started. So how much do I use? Well, I use several amounts of, of, of a small amount. So I started with my scalp first and I also, but before I even, matter of fact, let me back up for a second. One thing that I do is I ensure that my hair is fully saturated. So let's start there. So the first thing is making sure that my hair, and this is not just to get the hair wet for shampoo. It is to literally help open the scalp up. So I spend time massaging my scalp with my fingers, the pads of my fingers, not my fingernails. Fingernails can damage the scalp. And at this point, it's helping to lift dirt, oil, and I stay here for probably a minute or two. Just massaging through the scalp, and then as I'm rinsing, the lid of my locks is being hit naturally, and I use warm water. And I just stay here for a second. Then we'll come back, and I'll show you how much shampoo I use and start the actual process. And if you're wondering how long my hair is now, you can see some of the left. We got a pretty good bit going on. My, as y'all know, my sides are shorter than my front, so you'll always think my hair is shorter than the front view, but my back view, it's getting there. All right, so back, back again. All right, so now, at this point, I take about a quarter size amount, but at least a nipple of shampoo. And I do not go for my entire head. It's gonna waste your shampoo, ladies, or my, my, my man. And I pick a section of my hair. Like I typically start on this left side and I literally just take my time and I go in on that section. And I stay there. And what this does, it assures that, get the shot, get that. It ensures that I get my scalp really clean. I'm not wasting shampoo because that little amount would not make it through these locks. It also allows me to gently clean my roots and not cause a lot of damage, you know, because if you have locks, you know that the hair is kind of married, so sometimes your locks are kind of intertwined by a few strands. And so taking your time ensures you don't cause a lot of damage and maybe put your finger inside, because your hair is wet. So keep in mind by being wet, your hair is a little bit more at risk for damage because the hair is a little bit more elastic. So you don't wanna, while it's wet, cause any damage. And I literally grab it again and I go to another section of my hair, which is typically the other side. Go to my right side and then I do my top, then I do this part, then I do this part. And that is literally how I make sure that my scalp is clean before I even touch my lift of my locks. So, I know you all don't want to watch me do every portion, but that's the general, take a small amount. And again, as you know, I'm using the pads of my fingers. And I'm getting this entire strip of hair. I'm gonna get this, this, and this. All right, be back. So I completed the process of rinsing out all of the uh, shampoo from my scalp. I do that because the next step is I shampoo the length of my locks and I kind of lightly hit my scalp again on that second time through, just not as long. It takes me about five minutes 
to do the first round. About one minute per section, about one minute here, about one minute here, one minute, one minute, and then overall. Now when I clean the length of my locks, I do not do a aggressive back and forth. And again, I take it in sections and I rub the shampoo down the length. Move it out the way. And this is literally what I do. I do not do all that like, you know, the commercial that do all this big sud. I feel like that kind of aggravates the locks, makes them frizzier. And I have soft hair, as you all know. So if I am being too aggressive, it'll just make it frizzier. So what I do is I go through that section and I just run my fingers down. And then I go through the scalp one more time with some of the soap that already exists. And what this does to me, it gets the locks clean without overly stripping them and without creating excess frizz. And again, it doesn't take a lot. A little goes a long way with this, so about that much is enough for this entire front section. As you can see, especially after I clean the scalp and I rinse it off, it's got a lot of the dirt and the impurities out. And I just go down and down. I do not do any back and forth motion. I take my fingers through. And I repeat this process for the entire length of my hair. Now at this point, once I've gone through the entire length, I typically don't go back again, because again, my goal is to cleanse, not to overly strip, because I do have color, and I don't, you know, I need to maintain that, that uh, clean to moisture balance. So at this point, I'm going to rinse it thoroughly, and I take my time, I, I kind of use my pads and my fingers again to let that water hit my scalp, and I just go through my entire length of my hair. And I keep the water on a warm the entire time, but not hot. Cause you know, yeah, just a nice warm temperature. That was a very delay, y'all. You see, and you gotta be careful because it'll be all to your edges. I tip of life, like tip my head really far back to let it, make sure the shower gets off. Because let me tell you something, lock buildup is real. I do not use products on my hair, but just simply not rinsing the shampoo out can lend to lock buildup. And I've sometimes seen a little white spot. Like, what is that? It's the shampoo that I rinse out. So take your time and get the shampoo out of your locks. Now at this point, camera's crooked my hair is totally saturated so before I put on that purple um, tear cloth I literally take my time and I squeeze as much excess water as possible like I literally squeeze it out this allows me to be able to have a shorter drying time ensure it is really dry before I even hit the tear cloth which I will show you all I've showed you before in my holy grail video and it works so well. It gets all the moisture out of my locks so I can walk out the door. Before that, like a sponge, I, yeah, sorry, I got some more in my, I squeeze it all out. I typically go from several angles. And when I start hearing a lot of drips, that's enough. It doesn't be, you know, it's not, it's going to be wet, but now it's wet without any dripping. One more time on both sides. So, this is the, um, and if you can even tell, like, I'm going to come back when it's dry at the end and show you all what it looks like, totally dry. But typically, if my hair is starting to look flat and a little lifeless, that's my sign that it's time to shampoo it. My hair doesn't really get dirty because I don't put products in it, but it may kind of look a little drab. It loses some of the volume. It's time for some water to plump those locks, locks up and some moisturization. So I will show you all my terry cloth and then I will show you all, come back on the end after it's washed. You can see where it is now. It maintains most of its length. It doesn't stretch, sh shrink, excuse me, hardly at all. Okay. 
So this is the terracloth I showed you all in my Holy Grail video. And it's really good. And I just simply take my locks forward. And eventually they're, they're going to be so long they won't fit in here. And I'm going to have to get a bigger terracloth cap or simply go to just a towel that is terracloth material and wrap it that way. And I just took all my locks. I can see into this. And I kind of squeeze a little bit. I twist. And there is a little button right here with this little string that I attach. And this can stay on for five minutes and it's enough or I may get dressed completely. But when I take it off, this literally absorbs all of the excess. So I'll come back again and y'all see what, how does my hair look with nothing on it at all. And when it's at least, I'll say 80% dry. All right, guys. Wanted to hop in and show you how my hair looks after this terry cloth comes on. And then I'll show you when it's actually dry. There is no, you can even tell my hair is, it's now only lightly damp. Just lightly. I could literally walk out the house right now if I wanted to. And I would not have my clothes be wet or saturated. And I'll come back and show you what the final look is like when it is at least 80% dry. Here we are. You see, look. No, you see nothing dripping. I'm doing this. There's no water coming off. So again, love this terry cloth, guys. All right, see you in a minute. Hey guys, coming back, showing you what my hair looks like completely dried. This is the, uh, let's see, result. And the frizzies are still there, but not as bad. And to help it out, what I can do now is just spray a little bit of that aloe vera juice around the edges and then tie it down and I can have this pretty smooth. But as you can see, like some of the halo, some of the halo that was there is now gone. But as you can see, as far as the length, the length is pretty much close to about the same thing. And here's the back. So, meaning that for the most part, once you get to this point in your journey, the shrinkage is minimal. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.